Hi and hello! If you are struggling with your outlines, with your sketch of your animal portraits, I share today seven different methods how you can do that. An accurate sketch to draw really correct outlines is so important to make sure that your proportions are right. So here are seven different methods you can do that. Choose one that fits best for you. If you have the dream of drawing realistic animal portraits with pastels and don't know how to start, I have here a free PDF for you, my free beginner's guide. You can download this resource below in the link in the description. So the first method is drawing the outlines freehand. You can sketch here the outlines just watching at the reference photo and drawing the most important outlines freehand. This is good to train your eyes, to practice from time to time with smaller drawing subjects like this eye here. This is fun to do also and to just becoming better and better and drawing outlines freehand. I would not recommend that for full animal portraits because this is much more work and there it's so important that you have the outlines correct and the proportions correct, but just to train your eyes to practice and to make it fun. This can be really helpful to grow as an artist. The next method I show you here is to use helping lines. So draw on your printed reference photos lines around the most important areas like here around the eye. I like to use that most of the time in my animal portraits, not to use a grid, just lines in the most important sections. Draw them with a graphite pencil on the copy paper where you have printed the reference photo and then use a pastel pencil to draw these lines on your drawing surface. I measure here the length of the lines and draw them exactly in the same distances and uh, draw these four helping lines in that case on the drawing paper with light pressure and then you can measure the distance and you could also draw another line in the middle for example or just measure most important parts and then draw the outlines inside of that rectangle here inside uh, the lines and it is easier than to do it completely freehand. You have here a better orientation when you have these frames around the eye and then you can so measure the distance and either, either with the eyes or with a ruler and draw in your most important outline here and sketch and create a nice sketch draw accurate outlines and you can make sure that your proportions are correct and your lines are at the right position. What I also love to do is to use another color, a light color like the white here for highlights and lighter fur hairs. I also sketch in the fur direction and uh, use the lighter pencil for that. The third method is to use a grid. So here really draw a grid so with one to one centimeter distances and draw a whole grid on your printed reference photo and then you can transfer all details you have inside the little squares to your paper. Draw the exact same grid on your drawing paper, one centimeter distance is in that case and uh, make sure that you uh, draw the lines with very little pressure that you can overdraw them then or uh, use a kneadable eraser and remove them. So that's really important that you don't uh, have your lines then shine through. When you draw your layers and build up your animal portrait and then you can really have a close look to the reference photo where are the outlines, in what um, little square should I start, how much is the pupil overlapping, where is the highlight here? I do that with 
the darker lines with black, the lighter areas with white. And here you can really have a close look where are the lines, the outlines of the eyelids are going inside of these little squares. If you are a beginner, it's better to use smaller uh, distances in your grid. If you are more advanced, you can also make them larger or make them different on specific areas. So when there is a large part of fur, for example, in your dog portrait, I would not make one centimeter uh, grids for the eye. It's perfect because then you can here draw square by square any details you see inside these little uh, parts of the grid. Add also fur in fur direction and sketch in here the most important parts. So that's also a nice uh, opportunity to draw your sketch. The next way is to use tracing paper. For example, tracing paper from Saral. Place it be between your drawing surface and your printed reference photo and draw along the most important lines with a graphite pencil and just simply trace them uh, through. Don't press too much, use middle pressure and draw here along the fur direction, along the most important outlines uh, and uh, the pupil, the highlights and so on. And make sure that your tracing paper is acid free, that you can overdraw the lines. And uh, then you could use also an, a pastel pencil and draw over it and make some lines a bit darker. Uh, and that you see the outlines better. That tracing paper makes very light uh, lines and maybe they disappear when you build up your layers. So I would draw a bit over with a darker pastel pencil like here with the black and uh, that you see your outlines better. To remove the pigment, little stains you have on the paper, you can use a needle eraser and simply pick up them and erase them and make the paper clean again. And the next method is really cool. You can apply on your printout on the back side a bit of soft pastel pigment and then place your printed reference photo over your paper. But be careful that you don't press too much with the fingers on it, that you don't have stains of the in here Rembrandt soft pastel pigment. And then take a graphite pencil and draw with not too much pressure around the most important outlines like I do here on this little rose. And here, this is a very easy way you can create a beautiful uh, outline, a sketch without having a grid or helping lines. And then uh, sometimes you have also these little stains of the pastel pigment on it. I remove them with the needle eraser. And what I also then do is to use pastel pencils again and make some lines darker that are not showing up so uh, beautifully as I would like to have them and correct something. And then you can use protectors. If you have the budget away label, they are really great. You save a lot of time, you are faster and uh, it really is helpful. If you can invest in one, there are different uh, protectors available of different price points, different sizes. So um, yes, they save time, but they cost a bit. And the last tip for drawing your outlines, for drawing your sketch is to use an app on your mobile phone. There is, for example, the Da Vinci Eye app away label you this is a subscription it costs a little bit per month but it is uh, pretty cool to use if you are more a person for tracing the outlines in that way this might be helpful for you if you go to davinciiapp.com and then you come to this uh, site and uh, this is the davinci eye art protector you see here how it works on the photos 
So you see on your mobile phone screen the reference photo and also behind the paper and your pencil that you are using and you can then place that uh, for in that size you need. Maybe you need a, a tool that your um, mobile phone is more far away and also that you uh, don't have to hold it. You see it here and then you can uh, draw the outlines in an easy way. So you can here then draw on your paper with your pencil and draw along the outlines here and see it on your mobile phone screen or on your tablet if you use a tablet. You can also here really draw it in larger sizes, enlarge your uh, drawing and draw it in any size you would like to have it. And that it's really a nice opportunity additional to the other methods I have shown you. If you're interested in that, then dive in, download the app and try it out. Okay, so now choose one of these methods. I like to use helping lines. If you are more the tracing person, then choose a, a good acid-free tracing paper or just put pastel pigment on the back side of your printed reference photo. If you have the button available, choose a protector. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you are interested, download my beginner's guide. I would happy to share that uh, tips and tricks with you and if you have questions pop them below into the comments i'm happy to answer and then see you in the next video have a great time bye bye